everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab and today I'm going to be showing you a video which I shot last week from the ASUS Republic of Gamers booth and I'll be looking at some of the brand new X570 motherboards for AMD's brand new Ryzen processors that are going to be launched in July. That's third gen Ryzen or Ryzen 3000 series, however you want to call them. So let's dive in and start looking at the motherboards. So first up then we've got a quick look at the ROG Crosshair 8 Hero which is the brand new Crosshair Hero board with Wi-Fi there and then moving across you've got the rather gorgeous ROG Crosshair 8 Formula which has got a crazy EK water blocks. Uh, water block dealing with the VRMs and like most X570 motherboards you've also got a chipset fan too. So moving on down then and uh, we've got probably one of the craziest motherboards I saw at the show which is the ROG Crosshair 8 Impact. So this is not Mini ITX, it's actually DT Mini DTX, uh, sorry, it's uh, slightly longer but you get, it's just an absolutely crazy motherboard, it's got chipset fans, all sorts of crazy stuff. And then uh, moving on down, you've got the ROG Strix X570e Gaming, which is the more affordable one. Again, you can see a chipset fan down there, which is having to call that toasty X570 chipset. Uh, probably one of the more affordable boards, but I am hearing that a lot of motherboards for X570 are going to be quite expensive. So the uh, ROG Strix X570F Gaming, kind of the same as the, uh, as the X570e. Uh, plenty of uh, really nice looking lighting on that board as well and uh, if you can't quite stretch the impact and you need a straight mini ITX board there is also going to be a ROG Strix X570i Gaming which looks uh, a lot like the previous uh, ROG Strix mini ITX boards from ASUS. So I've just moved around the corner now to the tough range of motherboards and uh, there's a whole bunch of X570 and uh, Intel chipset uh, motherboards here as well so you've got the tough gaming x570 plus wi-fi uh, which looks like quite a beefy motherboard if i have if i do say so myself it's got a uh, chipset fan as well most x570 motherboards will have chipset fans but it's great to see there's an m.2 heatsink there as well and uh, without wi-fi if you don't need wi-fi there's a tough gaming x570 plus as well and uh, moving on down we've got the intel uh, the intel motherboard you've got the tough b3 uh, sorry b365m uh, the new uh, Intel chipset, that's the Plus Gaming, Micro, micro ATX there of course, and uh, plenty of Micro ATX motherboards then f for ASUS and Tough Gaming, you've got the Z390M Pro Gaming as well, and then moving on down, yet another Micro ATX board, and finally we've got the Tough B450 Pro Gaming, which of course is for AMD, so that's it from the Tough booth. So that's it from me and uh, thanks for watching this short video taking a look at some of the best X570 motherboards coming our way from ASUS and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also in the links below you can see uh, my article over on Forbes which has everything you need to know about AMD Ryzen 3rd generation and X570 so that's definitely worth checking out and once again don't forget to subscribe to Crazy Tech Lab and I will see you soon. Thanks a lot. Thank <laughs> you.